Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Encased Football 8-Box Pick Your Team number 4 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action right here. Break number 4 on a Thursday, Thursday the 5th. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Will, Bulldog fan, Last Spot Mojo Rams. There's everyone right here as well. Now, we've got another Pick Your Team 5, I think, is also just a couple number, a handful of number block spots away. And here are the number block teams right there. There are the numbers right there. And there it is right there, Pick Your Team 4. <laughs> High vibe. Um, unfortunately, I'm an illiterate Korean, so I can't read that. Um, encased football from a fresh case. I can speak a little bit of it, though. All right. So we've got four on the left side, four on the right side. Um, Johnny, number RNB means random number block, and you'll you'll see the example here. Hopefully, there'll be examples for these guys. So for these teams only you get assigned a block of numbers. So Rory's in the house, right? He's got number two. So any cards for these teams that are two out of whatever, 12 out of whatever, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, will all go to Rory for these teams only. So if it's a Kyler Murray, two out of 10, that'll go to Rory, right? If there's like a Drew Locke, two out of 10, that'll go to Rory. You know, if there's a Baker Mayfield relic, 92 out of 99, that'll go to Rory. So you'll see examples of this. These will be, these will happen somewhat frequently in our shops. So keep an eye out for those. So sometimes when a break is sold out, it may not actually be sold out. You'd have to pay attention to see if there's any of these number block randomizers that we have to do. It's pretty much a filler, but it's pretty much a filler, but just kind of a different way to do it than some of the other sites. All right. Next one. All right, we'll do all the graded cards back to back to back to back to back to back to back at the very end. Right, now I've just jinxed Roy for the entire break, Sean, right? <laughs> We'll use one of these blank cards right here to maybe add a little more suspense to the break. Jason Witten for the Cowboys. That'll go to Joe Clanton. We've got Jalen Hurd. You heard? 47 out of 75. That will be for Victor Z and the Niners. We got Tony Pollard for the Cowboys. Another one for Joe. That's to 50. Where's the number there? 18 out of 50. 48 out of 50. His shoulder pad was kind of hiding that number. Quad Relic. It's a good looking one. I think this might be the Sapphire parallel. I think sometimes we see on Redemptions. And back here is Daryl Henderson. 45 out of 50 for the Rams. Last spot mojo, Bulldog fan. Will Comstock. Some of you may remember him as a Bulldog fan from back in the day. All right, so there's the other graded card right there. Now, Sean Corbett, since I have you here, was there a – did I read something about a uh, a Chargers trade? Was there a Chargers trade or something like that that happened? What were the deets of that? And what does that mean for the draft, in your opinion? All right, we got Earl Thomas. 
Ravens not numbered. Sam Rail. Got Bryce Love, Patrick K. 21 out of 25. There was a trade, yes, and they won it big time, he says. Are you just saying that? Is this like the typical Sean Corbett jokes jokes, or is this for real? I don't know what happened. But I feel like Russell Okung was involved or something like that. There's a future wave, Leonard Fournette, 28 out of 75 for the Jaguars. That's a number block team. Brian Peebles saying they swapped O-line with Carolina. Okay. Which they that's a position they need to upgrade, right? Um, oh, so Johnny Pool Noodle. We go by that number right there, 8. So 28 out of 75. That goes to Rick T in the number 8, Jacksonville 8. And there's Andy Isabella, scripted signatures, 6 out of 10. So that'll go to Cardinals 6. And that'll be for Charles. Next box. So, Johnny, and for anybody else who's curious about number blocks, the advantage of that is you don't have to pay for the Cardinals, like however much the Cardinals, they're usually the more, one of the more expensive teams in any football break, 2019 football break. So instead of paying full price for the Cardinals, you can pay a smaller price, get a number instead, and then cross your fingers that you get the right number. So lower risk. for a potential high reward as opposed to the high risk, high reward situation. Um, non-number, only base cards are non-numbered. There's no objections. We're just going to send this to number zero. TJ Hawkinson, 45 out of 75. Broncos tend to be on the expensive side, yes, because of, uh, of Drew Locke and Noah Fant. Um, Tyler Brenner with the Lions. Meagle Hardman, Jr., 7 out of 50, already a Super Bowl champ. Diane S. with the Chiefs. And we've got Chris Spielman. Tyler, look at that. 24 out of 25 legendary swatch and signatures. Pretty nice on a really thick cardstock, too. All right, so sent Okung, one year, 13 million for younger, stronger Trey Turner, who has two years at rough over 20 million. So he's saving a little bit of money, too. Right, I remember Okung missing a lot of games last year because of the blood cost, sorry, which is kind of scary. So people didn't... And Trey Turner's a five-time Pro Bowler, Brian is saying. Okay, Interesting. Why Why did Carolina do that? I feel like they're gambling on Okun for one year. Oh, I guess t they're cap space. They're taking the Trey Turner money off the table for two years only to take a, a comparable lineman for one year if you saw. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So it helps both sides. Chargers get the O-line help they need. And at a lower average annual value. And then the Panthers can, can kind of save a little bit of money and are only on the hook for one year for a comparable, somewhat comparable offensive lineman. And Sean Corbett saying, oh, Kung and Turner were both a little disgruntled in their respective environments. All right. All right, sounds like a good deal then. Patrick with the Adrian Peterson. There's a lot of other dominoes that are going to start to fall, I feel like, in the next week or two. Because I think you agents can talk to free agents on the 14th or something like that. Like in a week or two. And then like a couple days after that, then they can start actually making deals. Announcing deals. Future Wave, Calvin Ridley, 42 out of 50. That goes to Reed Pierce and the Falcons. And then, of course... You know, maybe a few, three, four weeks after that, 
all of a sudden will be will be the draft. And then the uh, Panini and NFLPA Rookie Premier will be here in L.A. a week or so after that, which hopefully we'll be able to go to again. Panini's and GTS has always been nice enough to invite us to that. Two out of 50, A.J. Brown for Evan and the Titans. And we can get a glimpse of all the uh, new rookies. It's always a fun event. And the autograph down here, Reggie Wayne. Three out of five, Reggie Wayne. Legendary signatures. And Tyler Brenner, you got you got to look up some, some videos of Chris Spielman. That, that guy is pretty legendary. This guy's legendary too. Colts, Evan Levine. Three out of five. Evan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, halfway through this, through this break. Yeah, Steve Olson draft is already around the corner. It's crazy. I mean, they just finished the combine not too long ago, and now it'll be the free agency is is in March, and then April is uh, April is draft, and then there's like some kind of rookie mini camp soon after that. Then mini camps, and then mandatory camps, and then preseason games, and then football season before you know it. There is Alshon Jeffrey for the Eagles. Brian with that one. I'm already getting emails from, uh, from like, from the Super Book and from Circa to say, hey, you want to sign up for that contest again? Which I am gonna do. Hunter Renfro, 32 out of 50. Triple Relic, Pedro with my Raiders. Raiders will be in Vegas. That'll be wild. I have no idea what the Raiders are going to do free agency-wise. I really don't think Brady's involved, but everyone will keeps wanting to link Brady to the Raiders. There's Drew Locke, Triple Relic, 37 out of 50. That'll go to Denver 7. Denver 7 goes to Charles S., so what are you hoping, Sean Corbett? You'd be ecstatic if who is Simmons gets the Chargers at six. Then take the best available O lineman available in the second. I need to start brushing up on these names too. I don't know who the Simmons character is. Oh, Isaiah Simmons, linebacker. Linebacker safety? No quarterback? Debo Samuel, rookie dual swatch signatures. Debo, where's my pen? Debo going to the San Francisco 49ers, Victor Z. I don't know, either way, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty exciting time football-wise. I think there's still some big football products on the horizon, too. <laughs> yeah, Logan got it. He got Debo on the redemption, by the way. I feel like you got it after the fact. We got Corey Davis, 7 out of 25, Evan. We got Teddy Bruschi, 28 out of 50, substantial swatches for the Pats. Jin with the Patriots. Champ Bailey. Century Collection Relic, 10 out of 50. So these this will go to Denver 0. And that'll be for Charles, Denver 0. And we got Damian Harris, 42 out of 50. Rookie Notable Signatures, another one for Jin and the Pats. Right. 
Rex, I think you got got. I think you just got got by by Lo the, the Logan Callister dry humor. All right, another redemption down here. We got Evan and the Panthers with Christian McCaffrey base card. There's Irv Smith Jr. Six out of uh, five out of fifty for the Vikings. That goes to I think Nick Anderson. Yeah, Nick Anderson with the Minnesota Vikings. There should be Johnny if you look at uh, our website. I think there's a couple more encased cases with all teams available, no number blocks. So you might be able to look in each one of those. Denver might be available. If not, then no, they must have all sold out then. All right, there's Josh Jacobs, silver, black, and white patch, 25 out of 25. Pedro with my Raiders. And the redempt is TJ Hawkinson. That's for Tyler and the Detroit Lions. So Rex wants to see, what does everyone think about that? Rex wants to see a, a variation where instead of number blocks with the left side, we sell the right side numbers instead. Yeah, it probably would be a lot more expensive. I mean, you'd have to divide it by... All the different parallels. We got Mark Ingram, Ravens, Sam Rail. We got the Edge, Edger and James for the Colts. That'll be for Evan, forty-six out of fifty. You want personal box? Well, Sean, next time you come up to the, I don't know, maybe next trade night we can have one of those. Evan with the Colts, and you can come by and do that. Kurt Warner, Rams, Bulldog fan, 20 out of 50 on that one. Old Kurt. And we've got Matt Ryan, Matty Ice. Subscribe signatures, five out of, super scribe, not subscribe, super scribe signatures. For the Falcons, Reed Pierce picked up the Falcons, gets the five out of five, Matty Ice. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, now. Now on to the good stuff here. The graded cards. We have not seen... Uh, we have not seen a uh, black label yet. This one's a 9, 5, and 9. It's a piece of Drew Locke's hat. Rookie cap patch autographs. 10 out of 25. And that'll be for Denver 0. And that's going to go to Charles. This one is a 9 5 10. It's Josh Jacobs. 7 out of 10. Roll Tide is the inscription. Piece of his hat, too. Nice. That will be for Pedro, who's got my Raiders. Next up is a 9 5 and 10. It's Justice Hill. 10 out of 50. Another piece of his cap. And that'll be for Sam Rail. Justice being served to him.
This one's a 9, 5, 10, and it's another Raven. It's another Justice Hill. Rookie cap patch autograph. 16 out of 25 on this one. Slightly no, lower numbered parallel for Sam. Back to back. We've got this one feels like a thicker cardstock. Ooh. What do we got here? We got a 9, 10 Jarrett Stidham. That's pretty cool. Four out of five. No, four out of 25, that is. That's for Jin and the Pats. Where do they have Massachusetts on, I mean, it's on their hat? It's pretty cool, though. All right, next up is 9-10 scripted signatures. Another Patriot for Jin, 19 out of 25, Nikhil Harry. All right, and we're doing good tonight, Aaron. How are you? A couple more to go. We've got Meikle Harbin Jr., 9-5 and 10. That will be for... Diane S. and the Chief, 48 out of 50 on that one. And last but not least, good luck, everybody. We've got a 9 5 10, another Justice Hill, 32 out of 50. I guess Sam's happy. There you go. You got your Justice Hill personal collection going. Well, there you have it, folks. That was uh, in case football pick your team four in the books. We've got another one in the store with uh, some number block spots. I think just a handful left, and we can another, do another full case of this. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.